this video is for a look at the demo of a game called Bionic Bay. Under the options, uh, we have a full screen or windowed mode. It is not full screen exclusive, which means that you want to keep the resolution at your native uh, monitor resolution. If you put it any lower, it will make the screen look more blurry, um, or the graphics, I should say. It won't actually uh, put your monitor into any other resolution. <clears throat> Anti-aliasing, uh, we only have MSAA. Uh, you can turn V-Sync on or off. I don't have a frame, an FPS counter visible at the moment. Uh, I don't think we'll worry about looking at that. Um, hopefully this V-Sync is working properly. We only have the one volume slider which does everything. So yeah, a bit limited in, our, in the settings department. Uh, when you first launch the game, it gives you the option of choosing between DirectX 12 and Vulkan. There's also a just go button <laughs> if you don't want to make a choice. I don't know what it does if you do that. Um, I'll just have a quick look, see if I can get some kind of information about uh, what is actually... Uh, what mode it's actually in. Um, does it tell me there? No, it's not telling me. But possibly you could use something like MSI Afterburner, it might be able to tell you. Uh, I do have Afterburner on this computer, but I don't have it running at the moment. I could launch it, but um, yeah, I'm not going to, I don't think. We're just going to continue on. <laughs> I was expecting something was going to happen, but apparently not. So, we're that little guy, if you can just make him out there. <clears throat> All right. So yeah, it kind of uh, makes you think of games like Limbo.
Yeah, the visuals are quite cool. Like we have to go down here. Uh, okay. Is that a good idea? Well. Oh, now we can. I'm quite high. Okay. All right. Okay, so it's B to roll. Although I don't know whether I made him roll or if he just automatically rolled in. It's just weird. Try and jump that. Well, he, um, I'll just quickly, um, change the bead zone. I'll try and remember. Uh, next time to uh, change the bead zone before I start streaming. <clears throat> but um, it doesn't take a moment. <sighs> okay. Yeah, because he moves. A lot quicker now than um, at the beginning of the game. At the beginning of the game, he's quite slow moving. It was, I, you know, the dead zone wasn't really a problem, but with them moving quite fast like this, um, you need to have the dead zone uh, set quite well so that you don't do any accidental. Okay, so how do you um, uh, survive uh, well enough? <clears throat> yeah, it's, let's just B and then A. Right, so it's telling me I've got to roll and then jump, apparently. Well, how come my jump didn't go like his jump? Yeah, it looks like you can fall a certain amount, you'll be okay. Yeah, I can't jump that high. <clears throat> yeah, when it goes dark like this, you know, it does make you think of Limbo. But then we have these areas where things brighten up and you can see your character looks like he's wearing a, a white shirt. Possibly jeans, I don't know, but yeah. <laughs> so that's different to uh, Limbo. But I'm just wondering 
how did we get where we are? So I don't know whether I have to roll and then jump from here. Possibly. Seems to give you more of a long distance boost if you roll and then jump. Okay. So what's the plan? Get up here. Dive in mid air. Um, yeah, so this kind of game is what you would call a puzzle platformer, where getting past uh, certain things is a bit like a puzzle. You have to try and figure out how you would do it. I quite like puzzle platformer. It was, kind of makes you think, not just it's not just platforming. It's platforming and puzzle solving. Um, right up there. Just up and then dive. <laughs> okay. Some kind of explosive. Whoa, wait a minute. Just walking into them. You don't want to touch them at all then. Okay. You gotta get the right height. There you go. that there must be a height at which you would get hurt to kill people, you would think. Oh. <laughs> which way do we go? This way? Possibly could make that from running. I mean, we can also dive mid air if need be. Uh, what do these things do? Got me on the end there. Whoa, holy cow. Yeah. I wonder if I can dive off the edge. Okay, yeah, that worked. 
Yes, yeah, so it's teaching you the different mechanics at the moment. And then from there you'll have to use what you've learned to do the rest of the game, one would imagine. Uh, so we can duck down. Probably duck down and why okay, why is it? There. Well yeah, I was thinking roll, but we did a leap instead, I don't know. Where do I go from here? Alright. Oh, maybe we uh up like that. Wait here for a moment. Ooh. Oh, get up there. Okay. Yeah, he's a little bit floaty in the air. I go up here or do I go across? <laughs> I just realised just when I was jumping I thought oh, wait a minute you're not supposed to touch them are you? So B A B. All right. So you can um, Uh, 
which way are we going here? So now we can go down there. Let's yeah, it's quite an interesting design, isn't it? It's it makes you kind of think it's minimalistic, but then. It's, it's like what is there is there for a purpose which actually is quite good because it makes it a lot easier to understand what you need to do. So it's not a very over the top uh, flash and bang type of a visual uh, trying to smack like blast you with, um, with something it's uh, <clears throat> oh we're not supposed to do that uh, no, maybe I didn't have enough speed Okay. Uh, yeah. Not sure what I'm supposed to do here. Um, I mean, we definitely can't go back. We can go left. Oh, wait a minute. He's grabbed onto a star. Okay. Alright. So it looks like we've got to jump up the stars. Um, Alright. Bit tricky. Inside the pie. All right. Okay. Well, this is a different looking area. Wow! What a contrast. <laughs> That's the eyeballs. Um, Okay, do we go back in here, back into the tunnel, now it's loading, going to a different area again, that was quite a short area wasn't it? Okay. Alright, well, like somebody got stuck up there, they dropped something. Up. Okay, so what's that going to do for us? X. Alright, what is that? What's actually happened there? Okay. 
going over here and then what LB all right so it's some kind of a teleportation Okay, that'll be an interesting mechanic. Um, so it's X to select something and then left bumper to swap. That's an interesting mechanic, isn't it? Oh, okay. So it seems to have a range. Now, can we push that or... I suppose it doesn't really matter. We can move on now. Hopefully. Um... So we may have to do some oh, I was thinking maybe it might bust through but there's a hole there anyway The way the guy looks and moves, it kind of makes me think of um, another world or flashback. Oh, uh, that wasn't what you're supposed to do. Okay, so what's the plan then? Maybe put this up here to make it a bit higher. And then maybe we just need to run, jump, and do our magic. So, Whoops. oh, 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 man, that's pretty quick. Okay. All right. Okay, so I think there's a few different ways to do this. Um, I'm guessing you should be okay if you are holding on to the side of one of these. Whoa. If I had a roll, I would have been okay. But... Yeah, see, so you can do it like that. Um, about this one. Yeah, it might be alright to do similar kind of tactic. Whoops. It's very cool the um, The respawning, um, it just basically respawns you before the obstacle that you failed on. It's very cool because, you know, it means you're not wasting time, back, like not backtracking, but getting back to where you were. <clears throat>
because sometimes you know it might have just been a something simple that um, it's stopped you from completing something and you know what it was you just want to never go at it basically um, I need to make sure I jump instead of dive at the uh, well, <laughs> not like that. up. Do a bit of an Indiana Jones with the big huge boulder chasing behind us. Nah. No. 
not quite. Uh. Oh, we've got this little piece. Right, there we go. Push it out of the way. I think you need to drop something down there. No. <laughs> that was lucky. Wow, they're actually letting you play quite a while, aren't they? Well, it looks like the only way up, or well, the only way out is up. So we'll stack these on top. I don't think these cogs would kill you out straight, but then if you get stuck in the teeth, I guess it would kill you. If you're going to stack things, you best put the biggest thing on the bottom and then... Oh. Too far away. Could be enough. I just slipped off the side of that spear. Oh, what? No, it just went right through it.
Okay. Um. I guess we just have to do a roll, a run, roll, jump, dive. Uh, righty ho. different type of crate, aren't they? Oh, how do I get past it? Alright, same thing again. Um, On the ledge, unfortunately, can I get up there? No. Yeah, very strange. Seems to be a little tiny. little tiny pixel there which stops you from moving forward if you jump over it. What would happen if I hit it from this angle? Ooh. Okay, well I mean it might work. Uh. Maybe if I jump? No? No. Okay, forget it. That's not gonna work. Whoa ha 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 ha. Nah. Nah. That's not, that's not the right time. No. <clears throat> yeah, I've got a feeling that, uh, okay, what do I do from here? Oh. Well, wow, actually, not sure if that's the way you're supposed to do it, but now it works, so who knows. This way doesn't look like it. So I guess we go this way. No, can't go that way. What are we going to do with this thing? Put it up here. It has a bit of an organic feel to the levels and obstacles because it's not like the obstacles are snapping to a grid or anything like that. Where you put the obstacle is where it's going to be and if you 
put it in the wrong place, <laughs> it's obviously going to affect it. I don't know, can I get back up there? I can see where it would actually be quite good to have that crate down here. I'm going to have to try and do a run and jump, but I don't know if we're going to be able to make it. I think we got to get to that switch. Okay, well, that worked. Wasn't sure it would, but well, oh, that was lucky. I only just made it there. I was thinking I had to get up to that platform above. Then we've got this thing. I don't know what this is. Doesn't seem to have the same kind of effect as. Although we can do that, but still. supposed to do here maybe try that are we alive <laughs> uh, work oh this is quite impressive um, I better just check something just give me a moment um, I'm not actually sure, is this a demo or is this a full game? Because it seems to be going for quite a long time. Um, can I... Yeah, the Steam Overlay is not as good as the old days. Because to get anywhere, it seems to be a lot more difficult than what it used to be. No, apparently it is a demo because um, they reckon the release is going to be in 2024. So this is a demo. But quite impressive because they're giving you a lot of um, a lot of demo to play with. Right, so that's, that's dropping these things. So it's not as if me dropping them is going to help. Okay, let's see if we can go up there. Can't do anything with that. I wonder what happens. Are these are these going to blow each other up? I'm not sure. Have a look. Okay, that seems to be safe. Let's see if we can grab on now. Yep. Yeah. Heck out of there. No. Oh. Okay, so where do we go from here then? It's only the fire that makes them explode. Is 
this here. Ah, okay. Uh, I've got a feeling that we do actually need those up here. Get up this side from here. Problem is that we're not going to be able to climb up here when we've got too few of these things. Oh, maybe we'll get away with it. <laughs> oh, that was bad. difficult to change direction in the air. It seems to take a while to uh, turn around. Oh, am I stuck? See, he takes too long to turn around in there. It's very hard to leapfrog. Do like a, a back jump and then turn around and grab on. Uh, I'll try and use the B button as well. There you go. I would assume we can climb up now. Wait, where am I going? Okay. Uh, are you supposed to go this way? <laughs> it looks like I'm not supposed to be here. Just the way the graphics are looking. I mean, if you look at the background, you can see a box. It looks like you're not supposed to be able to go this way. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, falling out of the map. Oh no. Yep. I think we're... We're stuck. <laughs> Infinite falling. Let me try. Well, that's confusing because what do you do if you're not supposed to go that way? Wow. 
what is the plan? You don't go that way, apparently. That is quite funny, though. Um, actually figured out a different way to go. I mean... The way that you weren't supposed to go, but... I think this here dropped out of the machine as well when that one blew up. So I think that's what you're supposed to do. I think you're, you're supposed to get these two to connect, probably up in the air, up where they first come out there. Whoops. <laughs> Let's try one of these ones. quite work, did it? Um, I don't know, let's try... Well that... Would, that should have done it. If it was going to do it, that should have done it, but it didn't. Uh, let's try jumping. Just jumping over. Alright, now what? Maybe we can destroy this one below us. Okay. Right. So that that work. Get off that. Get off it. Ah! Hitting me. Hey, look at that. It's starting us from here now. Oh! <laughs> Oh, this is great. Now, hey, oh, we're not dead. <laughs> I know that killed us. Okay. Try and calm down, everything's alright. <laughs> oh. Okay. Can we do this? Whoa, that was a shit jump. <laughs> Pretty close. Oh, come on. Okay. Oh, I don't know if you can make the jump just by doing this. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure if you can, it, no, 
All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to use this thing to hopefully give us a little bit more height. Hopefully that's enough. So I think I probably would like to get one more if possible. No, uh, you get it then. So with a little bit more height, can we do it now? Alright. wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Uh, yeah, probably want a bit of a run up. In fact, no, I think what we'll do is we'll take that with us. Oh. What I was thinking would get happen. This is where it gets tricky. So I drop it down here, it's going to be in front of me. Uh, all right, so we can walk here. Oh, well. <laughs> so maybe that box wasn't required then. What about this one? You know you're going to need it for something. Uh, 
Alright. Okay. Alright. So now gravity is all weird. Okay, so you don't touch the thing in the middle. Alright, now what? Okay, that was... That was weird. Did we actually fall down then, or what happened? Yeah, we must have. Okay, well, this is... Interesting. Uh, okay, I think that was a B then, wasn't it? I thought it was an A. Ooh, that. Okay, so there you go. We can actually die from falling. No, it says A. It says A, doesn't it? But it's it's probably a B. Oh no, it looks, I guess it is B, it's just not very easy to read. Um, right, where am I supposed to go? Maybe I'll try pressing B again, maybe he does a bit of a roll or something. Um, no, that wasn't a roll. <laughs> <laughs> this flat. Um, okay, I not too sure what to do here. Not that. Okay, now what? We're here now. What? <laughs> That's as far as it tells me. Ooh. Oh, look at that! There's a ledge there. I didn't. I didn't see that ledge before. Okay, let's try and grab it. Um, well, that's not where I wanted to go, but. Oh, we've missed. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. So you definitely got to press it early. Uh oh. No. Nearly, but oh, oh, oh. <sighs> doesn't seem like he can uh, fall very far now, does it? Compared to what we were doing before, but this is a quite a long drop. Okay, so I could change my positioning to 
Well, I was hoping to get over there, but it didn't quite work. Oh, look at that. We can start from here now. Okay, that's better. No. I wonder if we'd be alright from that height. Gotta be close. Yeah, a bit of a shame. He doesn't like changing directions very much. He, he wants to turn to the right when you let go, and then to turn to the left, quite difficult. There you go. Now we should be fine. Alright. Oh, get off it, get off it. <laughs> what the heck do I do here? Can I... Do I still have that thing on me or not? I don't think I have that um, teleportation thing anymore. I'm not sure that I might. I don't think we're going to have the height from this jump. Oh, do we we survive that? Okay. I didn't think you would survive touching that, but... Oh, come on! Yeah, it's very hard to get him to change direction in the, in the air. Probably how they designed it, so... This adds another level of difficulty that you wouldn't get. Ah, oh, can't land on that. Well, where do I go? Alright, not over there. Can't jump onto the. Doesn't look like you can grab that pipe. I have another go. No. Okay, so now we're at a bit of a what do we do moment. Um, yeah, just slid off. I'm trying to find out if you can get into that big pipe that's below me, but it's a bit of a tough angle. I don't think you can do it, but... Come on, let go. Okay, am I in the pipe? Oh, I thought I might have been in the pipe, but I'm not sure.
I don't know whether I've got the calculation device anymore or not. Just nothing to hold on to. Wait a minute. I think maybe we can use the teleporter on it. Is that a switch? much height on that jump. <laughs> oh. What's that gonna do? Nothing? Do anything in here? No. Jump up. No, we can't jump up like that. That's a shame. Oh, here we go. Okay. Oh, how did that help me though? <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, something about this part here. I'm not quite sure what you're supposed to do yet. There's got to be something to do with this. How it goes out like that, but then. What could it be? Because I can't actually... I mean, I couldn't tag them, you know? I tried tagging them. Um, this here, you need to actually... jump up onto those things, but you can't get high enough, you see? And it's not possible to... jump up there from... Um, The, the rungs or ladder, whatever the other thing is over there on, on that, so it's... Ah. Then once you get here... Um, you still can't get high enough. So, yeah, it's a mystery um, where you're supposed to go, I'm not sure. So I may have to stop it, stop the video here, because um, I have to go and do some stuff anyway. Um, can't tag them. At least you have to tag them from this other side. But killed me uh, whether it's because I hit um, something on the side there I don't know but, uh, yeah I don't know what to do here I mean if you could tag if you could tag one of them then I, I could kind of understand what you can do because then you could bring one of them up here um, unless there's a way to get in through here but what else you could do here. Oh wow. All right, I, was, I didn't think you could get that high, but there you go. Oh well, it's not over yet then. Um, yeah, I still need to kind of 
go and do something though, but the problem is that I don't really want to uh, make a, a part two, unless of course it's going to go for quite a long time, but I don't actually know how long is left. I'm surprised the demo went for this long. Uh, usually they don't, but. I mean, this is quite cool. Come on! Okay, so this thing here we just have to get our timing right. Alright, so you want to try and dodge the beam probably. Maybe use. I mean, we've had luck with these beams not actually killing us lately. Ooh. We'll put those bombs there. Oh, shoot. That's not good. So I need to get back over the other side. Oh. Two wheels. Don't get hit in the head by that thing. Okay. Let's tag it again just in case. In case we need it. Target it. Yeah. So you've got a short amount of range anyway. Okay, that laser definitely will kill us. Oh shoot. Hazardous environment. Yeah. 
Hmm. Yes. Okay, that is unexpected. Yeah, there's some really cool stuff going on in this thing. <laughs> uh, I dodged the beam. Okay. Try and hit the beam. Okay, so I think we want to dodge this one. Actually, I think we want to hit it from the inside. So. That doesn't work either. Okay, well, that's not what I was thinking. So we want to go through here. Right, it's going to be tricky to do. Ah! <laughs> Okay. Okay, so the easiest way would be from this side and then just jump over these as you would. But apparently we got big feet. Oh, no. Why didn't he climb down? see the problem. I'm trying to do a dive, but you need maybe a little bit of up motion might help actually. Not enough. It's all about momentum as well. You see, if he's got a lot of momentum pulling him down, then it's very hard to get sideways movement out of a dive, so you need to get the momentum stop. Ah, oh, damn it. No. You might be okay to actually just grab the, the ledge part of that thing. If you can. Unless it kind of makes it move towards the end, I'm not sure. I'll see if I can grab onto the end of it.
Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like some people want me to go and do something. Hopefully the end is the demo is coming up soon. When that container that I dropped, when that actually hit the beam, it did cut the beam for a split second, so I guess that's what you have to do, but yeah, so we don't have another one. I mean, if it was what you were supposed to do, you'd think that another one would spawn from somewhere. What's this all about? probably um, stop it here at the moment uh, I might come back and do a part two later on uh, I, I'm not sure um, it's quite cool I quite like it it's it reminds you of games like limbo uh, this one's got a bit of color to it um, Pretty cool mechanics, pretty cool features. So if you'd like to try it out yourself, it's called Bionic Bay. You can find the demo on the Steam Store Bay. Thanks for watching and catch you in the next.